Attention, Earthlings. Do not panic. Other dimensions nearby. Hi, everybody. This is Cousin Freddy. I'm Big Fred and Aunt Grace's son. And I'm going to teach you how to make beer can windmills. So the first thing you need is beer to make beer can windmills. As you can see here, I've got a six pack of beer. Now, Big Fred preferred Paps Blue Ribbon. I bought a six pack of American beer, Porbus Unum by Bud Weiser. And this is about, oh, 3.2%, maybe 4% alcohol. I prefer Dogfish Head 90 Minute IPA, which is 9% alcohol. But the problem I found is you can't make a beer can windmill using a glass bottle. You need to use beer cans. So the first step is to drink the beer in the beer cans. Because you can't make a beer can windmill when you have a full beer can. You have to empty the beer can. And as you can see, there's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I've already drank five of them. And you have to be careful. You can't drink too much beer when you make beer can windmills. But it is a prerequisite that you have to drink the beer. Now I have one more beer can here. I'm going to make as soon as I get this plastic stuff off and always dispose of plastic properly. It's bad for oceans and stuff. And uh, I am going to open this beer here and uh, drink it. Tastes good. Okay, let's examine how a beer can windmill works. You have a coat hanger. Uh, everybody has a coat hanger, a wire coat hanger, and it is placed down in the ground, but it comes up and it bends like that and goes into a hole in one of the cans. And what that can has been cut almost full, and the strips have been cut and pulled back. And then there's another can right there that fits inside that can. And that's got a hole, and the coat hanger goes up and through, and then it gets curved around right there, if you can see that. Okay? And then there are these little... Uh, these little things that are like uh, washers that are plastic, again, and they are to hold the beer can in place and it allows it to spin properly. So uh, that is a beer can windmill and it spins in the wind like that. So that's a beer can windmill. Now we're going to show you how to cut a can and strip the pieces back and bend the wire and then put a can together to make a beer can windmill. <laughs> okay, so now let's examine what tools we'll, we will use. So on the left over here you have a hammer, you have a pair of pliers, snub nose pliers, these are needle nose pliers because they go sort of to a needle. And then you have some cutters, some wire cutters. Uh, a knife is always handy, a nice good knife. And always be careful when you're using a knife. They're dangerous. These things right here, they're really important. You don't want to cut yourself or cut one of those off and end up like Jerry Garcia. And then you need a hole punch. And that's why you have the hammer. So a hammer, snub nose, needle nose, wire cutters, knife, punch. Punch has a nice sharp tip to it. You can get all this stuff from Grandpa Ron. So those are the tools and we're going to extreme uh, exercise extreme caution while 
drinking beer. So it's always good to make sure that you drain all the beer out of the beer can because uh, beer can get really smelly and sticky if uh, you spill it. So after I drink the beer, I often rinse it out with water and then let it dry out. And that way I don't have a smelly beer can to work with. I have a clean beer can. Remember, American plur E Pluribus Unum. Figure out what that means. E E Pluribus Unum. It's on a dollar bill. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is you have to cut the beer can. You have to cut it right past here, if not at the open end. You're going to cut this part off where it bends right here. So you get maximum amount of leaves that you can pull back. So what I'm going to do first is take the knife and punch a little hole right here and put a little slit because this is really thin metal. This is a very thin, uh, I don't know what this stuff is. Big Fred would know. It's uh, probably some sort of thin tin or steel or some alloy of tin and steel. So remember, this is the home of the brave. And I want you to be really careful because these things are sharp and they can hurt these things. So be very, very careful. You never pull a knife toward you because you can cut yourself. You always pull away and make sure your body's out of the way. So the first thing I'm going to do is punch a little hole right there. See how I did that? There's a little slit and you have to be very careful. So I just put the knife in, pressed it a little bit. Now I can continue to cut it with the knife like this, but that gets a little tricky. You know, make sure your knife is nice and sharp. And this metal edge right here is also very sharp. So you can just cut it off like this. And it's very uh, tricky. And you want to do it so you don't burn the can. Now, you can probably also get some scissors and cut it. But um, I didn't get any scissors with me. So, when you get to there. And you cut it off so you end up with two pieces like that and like that and then you got a, a can okay so then you want to bend that out now remember this is nice and sharp right around here so be very careful okay I'm gonna set that down for a moment and I'm gonna take a sip of beer So here are my scissors, and you want to get a nice hefty pair of scissors, not, uh, not real good ones that are for cutting hair or anything. You want a good, nice, strong pair of scissors. So then what you do is you cut strips. Remember the beer can windmill has these strips like that? So we're going to cut strips from here to here, okay? So you're going to go like this. You don't cut it all the way, but you just cut it part of the way into about there and then you cut them oh about an inch wide and you cut them all the same length. See how I'm doing that? Right down to about there. There's another one right through the unum. This one's right through the pluribus. This one is right through the pluribus. And this one is to the right of the E. That's E Pluribus Unum. Okay, so there's that. There's that. And then we have that one, okay? So, then what we do is we peel these back. Bend it right there. Bend it right there, like that. You can just bend these strips back, and that forms your windmill. The blades on the windmill. See how I'm spinning that back, back, further back, push them back, way back. There you go. We have a beer can windmill, half of it anyway, okay? See how that's like that? 
And now what we're going to do is take the hole punch and I'm going to put it right there and punch a little hole in it. So I can set that down like that. I take the hole punch, this, and I'm going to punch a little hole right in the center of that using the hammer. So fire in the hole on the count of three. One, two, three. Look at that. Wasn't that easy? There's the hole. There's the other side with the hole. Okay? Now we need to make the other end that fits inside there, and that requires another beer can. So I have to finish the beer in here. And then we'll cut another beer can the same way we cut the other one. Okay? But we don't want this end because. That's already got a hole in it. It's too big. That's where the beer comes out of when you drink it. So I'm going to cut the other one. Well, let's see. Where should I cut that? This one here is goes in about oh, an inch or so. So uh, I'm going to take this, and you have to be very careful that you don't cut yourself. You have to hold this, and then you can go right about there, okay? Put a little slit in that, and then just cut right around. You want to cut it even. You don't want to cut it on an angle or anything like that. You just want to cut it like that because it's going to fit inside the other piece of can that we just cut and stripped. Be very careful. Keep your fingers away from the blade. Okay? There, cut that off and see this one's no good. You're gonna, I'm gonna throw that one away. Okay, then I end up with this. What do you do with this? That's right. You punch a hole in it. So you take the punch, put it right in the center, right there. You yell fire in the hole and you tap this. Boom. Look at that. So you've got two ends, one there and one there. Then you've got this that has the hole in it and then you fit this into there so this kind of goes together like that you got to kind of scrunch it in press it in probably wouldn't hurt to put a little cut in this you put a little little cut right about there maybe another little one there a little slice there a little slice there a little slice there and slice there. That way that'll allow that to go inside the other can easily like this. See? Kind of push that in like that. And there you have two cans cut and put together. So next you need a coat hanger. Just go into the closet and get a coat hanger. They're cheap, they're easy, and uh, Take this stuff off it, take the paper off and this off, okay? And then we'll open up the coat hanger. So the coat hanger uh, requires a little uh, cutting and stuff. This wire is kind of strong, it's been around here. And uh, that's why we need the pliers, because we're going to cut the coat hanger so that it fits around and goes inside the beer can holes that we just cut. So now what we do is we cut with the pliers, with the cutters, up here, okay? You just kind of cut that like that, okay? Then you take this and you cut this part right here. And you throw the hook away because the hook's kind of strong and you don't, you don't want to bend that. The other piece is easier to bend. So now what you do is you take this and you bend that wire a little bit like that. So you've got a natural bend right there where the elbow is, and then you've got another one here. So this is your, well, I can't show it out there very well, but you got the two ends here. Now, the shorter end up here is what's going to go through the beer can. The longer end right here we're going to cut right here, and that's the part that's going to stick in the ground that allows it to be a beer can windmill. You can make them longer if you want, but why bother? 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is cut this end right there and throw that away. And then I'm going to take this and it's going to go through the hole in the beer can like this and come out, come out the other side. So that's how that works. And we're going to go all the way to here like that. But what we need first are these little plastic tubes. See that little plastic tube that goes around there? And that prevents it from going in the hole, okay? Or that prevents the wire from slipping in, all right? So I don't have any of these. But I do have a bunch of these, these things. And these are just kind of little washers, and maybe the wire will go through there. We'll see. If not, I'll have to punch a hole in these, too. So we're going to use these instead of the little plastic things and see if those work, okay? All right. So where's my wire? Right here. I'm going to take this right here and see if it goes through there, and it does, okay? So I slide that down to there. See how that is? I'll move this out of the way in the background. So that just goes on there like that, okay? So we're going to slide this through here. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to slide this through here. Yeah, I can do this. I can get from one hole to the other. There you go, one hole to the other. And then I take this up here, right to there. And then what has to happen on the back of this, this wire needs to get bent right here so that it doesn't slide back and forth. Now, one of the ways we do that is we're going to take this wire right here on the other side and we're going to bend it, okay? We're going to bend two pieces of wire. Let's see if I can do that while I have a camera. And that's why we have two pairs of pliers, so that you can bend wire with. Because it's hard to bend this stuff with your hands. So I'm going to hold that there. And you can even do this on a vise. You can have a little, little thing, okay? I'm going to bend this so it doesn't slide off as the gold, okay? And bend that. I'm going to try and get at least the right, right angle. If we get a right angle, then the washer doesn't slide up. This, right. kind of like here. Put that off, okay? Then I'm going to grab, first I'm going to put another washer on, like that. Let's see if that washer goes in there. No, nope, that's too small. Let's get a bigger one here. Let's try this one. A little washer right there. So we have a washer on one side and a washer on the other side, but the little plastic sleeves work better than these little washers I'm using. Okay, and then we have this wire sticking up here, so we've got to put a plier right there and then a plier right here, and we're going to bend this wire. We're going to bend that wire in a loop down here, and then maybe that's a good thing to do before you put this on. You have your basic beer can windmill. Look at that. Okay, so in a nutshell, that's kind of like how you make a beer can windmill. And with that, it's Uncle Freddy finishing the beer and saying, don't try this at home by yourself. Always make sure you have adult supervision, or at least an adult who's drinking beer. So that's how we make beer can windmills in the 21st century. I'll see you in the future. If not, I'll see you in the pasture. <laughs>